coming to you guys with a wig review. I just finished filming one and I'm like super excited. Like it literally excited me so much because huh, this video is brought to you guys by Janet Collections and gray hair. <laughs> Today I'm coming to you guys with a wig review on Princess Chloe wig. This is the Janet Collections Princess Lace wigs. They're 100 percent human hair premium blend so they're not human hair it's a premium blend so that it mimics human hair which from the previous wig if you guys haven't seen it i'll try to leave a link down below if not you guys can check out my playlist or you probably already seen it and that's why you're here um this one right here has the ear to ear hand tied uh 13 by 4 um part which the other one had and oh my god was i super impressed so we're gonna take her out of the this wig looks more wavier than the previous one I had, and it has shorter, um, because I just reviewed the Charlotte wig, and this one is the Chloe. So she is looking the same length, more waves, more deep waves. It's got the same texture. It's, it's like a silky, yakky, light, yakky, silky. Um, it does have some shedding um, that happens a lot with the Janet Collections wigs and once they're done shedding they're done shedding I never have a problem again with them shedding or anything like that. That's just my experience This is the 13 by 4 parting space that it comes with so you can put powder under it I'm not going to tweak this wig too much I'm only gonna put it on after I cut the lace and show you guys How I feel about it and kind of show you guys what it would look like once you like prep her but more so likely with a wig with this much lace one, I already know from the previous wig, it's going to be too big for me ear to ear. So I would have to actually be trimming some of the ear tabs and then tightening it up, which I could do right now. Parting space. Look at that. Look at that. You can make her work. She has a few baby hairs here and there. You can always cut more. But you can see the baby hairs are right there, which I appreciate. Instead of the full stocking, you just get the tracks um, with the, the lining, the lace. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the lace. You guys seen it, two combs in the sides, one comb in the back, the adjustable straps, the 13 by four lace, which I can appreciate. I'm gonna go in and cut it. I know I'm gonna get shedding um, once I cut the lace because that's just the way the cookie crumbles here in my neck of the woods. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim. Yes, this one fits a lot better. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So even tightening this one up Gave me way more more room to flex with it. Oh yeah. I'm putting the combs in even though I don't want to like that. All right, so <laughs> I look crazy right now, but she's a lot curlier and wavier than Aunt Charlotte. She is Chloe, so Chloe's a little bit more playful, a little bit more curlier, very cute. And of course, I'm just throwing her on right now. I'll finesse it the best way I can for what I got right now. Once you apply your wig cap and you put it over your hairline, you can press this down with some got to be glue or whatever and she'll sit real nicely. I love that lace. It does feel really good. So the parting space on this is quite fantastic. Of course, if I recommend that if you like a particular part that you set it with heat and all you have to do is take a curling iron, curling wand, um, turn it on and then just hold the hair how you want it and then just kind of press like this with the heat and that's how you get your part to lay. Um, you could do it and switch it around however you want to. I'm just working with how the wig is naturally laying on me right now. I do love her curls. Her curl pattern is more playful and more flirty and a little bit tighter than the previous one that I just reviewed and I like it. So that is the one difference. The styles are similar. The length is very, very close. I think they're probably the same length if not off by an inch or two. I'm just pulling out hairs that I have collected from, like I said, I did cut one of the sideburns a little bit. I did that on purpose though because I knew I was gonna end up cutting into it. So I was like, whatever. So I do wish the curl pattern on this one was kind of like back and forth and back and forth, like where it wasn't like all one, ooh, oh. I'm gonna shut the hell up, that's what I'm gonna do. I have really been fond of left-sided parts. 
whatever however you guys call them left-sided parts or whatnot i have a comb here that they sent me they actually sent me a paddle brush um since it's not connected to my head i gotta be very careful with what i do but i wanted to brush it so i can see Ooh, okay right right all right so she does very well with a brush i love that you can deep part it if you want because the parting space goes all the way oh wow okay let's go this way because i have a lot of shit there all right i'm gonna try not to show you guys my ass but this is her she's a little actually she's shorter than the other wig and the curls are actually tighter of course let's go back this way so yeah overall i love the feel of her the density is amazing it feels really really good it's not too thick it's not too thin um the density feels nice the curls pop right back up once you keep playing with them look at that they're just popping right back up um you could finesse it however you want to of course you would need to do something to lay this unit but it's not lifting or curling on me at all whatsoever so i know for a fact that once i um i have it to the setting that i feel comfortable in once i put on a cap and kind of stick it onto the cap that she'll look she'll look really really good of course you guys know that i love this color and actually let me tell you guys what color she does come with she does come in the one the 1b the two and then she comes in the fs1b uh 30 which is this one right here with the highlights i honestly feel like the pictures aren't doing the units justice like when i got my chile wig or chow wig or whatever the hell it's supposed to be called I was in love with it. It looked almost like the picture, but didn't. And this is the same thing. Like the waves are there, but they're almost like too tucked in together. I would hope that one day Janet Collections makes a couple of gray tones, like maybe like a more blue gray or a charcoal gray. Cause I, to me, charcoal gray is like a black to me. Like that would be like my black hair. It would be just this gorgeous, charcoal shade and of course they do really great with the blending of the roots so i wouldn't worry about that too much so i know it would look great and natural and fresh and yes overall i love chloe very much she's actually um top five right now anyway guys sound off down below what do you guys think of this unit let me know if you're interested in getting her of course i'll leave her linked uh down below where you can find her i'll probably leave a few links down below um i am an affiliate with elevate styles um so if i do find her there um also with amazon so of course if i find them there they're linked down below along with everything else and any accessories that i recommend any powders that i recommend or anything like that everything is linked down below so anyway guys that is pretty much it i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye